sit by the sand down. He to get your pants down and tell him put his hands down. So when you're first starting to produce your own music as a beginner, it can be really, really, really difficult to actually also be able to write lyrics and record the vocals. So what we're gonna do in this video, I'm gonna literally show you exactly how I come up with choruses, right? It's not as hard as you might think. I wanna dive into the computer and literally just walk you through the process of how you can start recording your own banger choruses to songs that you've produced. Let's dive in. So if, if we, we take, take a look, look at take one of what I have here. I've been just chasing my dreams. I pretty much just go in and straight mumble how these things go and they kind of just keep progressing like that. So I literally just mumble my way through it. I write lyrics as I go, as I'm mumbling, going take by take. And it's kind of crap at first, but as we keep going and going and going, we get the vocals down. So what I'm gonna do is take a quick, take a quick sip of water. When you got a voice of an angel like I do, don't forget to drink water, am I right? <laughs> So we're gonna rock and roll, and, and we're, we're gonna, gonna record, record this thing. thing. And, and I'm, I'm gonna, gonna show you after I record what the take would look like with and without my vocal stack. stack. We are gonna get a little bit technical in this tutorial. Let's, Let's rock, rock it. it. I've been chasing my dreams. Fuck if you know what I mean. Robots, see what I see. I've been living way too free, free to create what I dream. You could never be who I am now. Not the type to stand down. Need to get your man's now and tell him put his hands down. Who I am now, not the type to stand down. Someone get they man now and tell him put his hands down. I'm not gonna lie, that last take was the take. I'm gonna play it back. Let's, Let's listen, listen to it and hear how it sounds. I've been just chasing my dreams. Fuck if you know what I mean. Robots to see what I see. I've been living way too free. Free to create what I dream. You can never be who I am now. Not the type to stand down. Need to get your pants now and tell them put his hands down. Who I am now. Not the type to stand down. Someone get their hands down and tell them put his hands down. And there you have it. There you have it. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to pop back in the computer and I want to show you, getting a little technical, not too crazy though, exactly what I'm using to make my voice sound good. <laughs> so, so let's, let's do, do that. that. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to solo the track and show you what it sounds like without plugins. I've been just chasing my dreams. Fuck if you know what I mean. Robots to see what I see. Right? Not that good. <laughs> um, which is fine. I'm going to put a little loop. I've been living way too free. Free to... But then as I put the stack on it... I've been living way too free. Free to create what I dream. You could never be who I am now. So breaking it down, obviously the first thing we have is some waves tune real time. I've been living way too free. Free to create what I dream. You could never be who I am now. Right, waves tune real time's awesome. Then I just threw a little EQ on here. I've been living way too free. Free to create what I dream. You could never be. Cleaned it up. I went in and found certain parts of the EQ that I didn't like. Like I basically what I do, it's really easy. I just boost stuff up. If it sounds bad, I just lower it. Simple as that take out a bunch of this stuff, take out a little bit of the high end. Then I threw this other plugin, it's called Shep73. I'll show you, this is a game changer. I've been living way too free, free to create what I dream. You could never be. You could do this to I've it. I've been living way too free, free to create what I dream. You could never be who I am now. Not the type to stand now. Need to get your mans now and tell. Right, so this is a cool effect. And then a little bit of compression. I've been living way too free, free to create what I dream. You could never be who I am now. Not the type to stand now. Need to get your mans now and tell him put his. I've been Tighten him up. And then while I'm recording, I like to have reverb. I've been living way too free, free to create what I dream. As I finish with this though, I'm not gonna leave the reverb on there. So when I'm, this is before I mix. So let me explain this. This is really, really important. I just recorded these vocals, right? When I'm recording vocals, this is what I have on there. When I'm done though, this isn't the final mix of the vocals. What I'm gonna do is basically take what I just recorded, I'm gonna render it down so that all of these like extra plugins are not even on there, but they're like absorbed into the track. So then when I actually get to mixing it, it's got 
those plugins embedded in there. Let me kind of show you how that works. So simple as I can say it, I'm gonna literally right click, I'm sorry, right click. So if I right click here in the lower part of it, it just gives me the takes. If I do it here in the white part of the region, it goes bounce in place. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna name the track chorus lead so that I know it's the lead vocal of the chorus. Right? I'm gonna mute the original one, by the way. I'm just gonna mute it. Now, as you can see, this new track doesn't have the plugins on there, but it's a copy of this rendered. So essentially what that means is I have this new track and the new track has those plugins, but I don't need to actually hold on to the plugins here. The reason that this is so powerful is because when you go into mixing and you add tons of plugins and you've got tons of tracks, you wanna try to conserve the operating power of your computer, AKA the CPU or the random access memory, which is what operates the CPU. I'm not a technical guy though. So what's cool about this is this original track that I had, I could delete it and it'd be done because I have the polished up version here. I've been just chasing my dreams. Fuck if you know what I mean. Robots to see what I see. And that's obviously better than the original recording. I've been just chasing my dreams. Fuck if you know what I mean. I've been just chasing my dreams. Fuck if you know what I mean. Robots to see what I see. Solid. So when it comes to actually writing the lyrics and coming up with those and recording them, what's so great about being able to fully produce your own music, like I did here in this, is I made the, I produced this beat. By the way, if you want to go check out how I produced the beat in less than 10 minutes, go watch my last video. But it's super, super easy. I produced the entire beat in less than, literally less than 10 minutes. I own the rights. I don't have to go purchase it. I don't have to go wait for someone to make me the beat. I didn't have to ask a different person via text message back and forth. Hey, can you change this? Can you do that? Can you? I can literally do all of it myself. Then I'm in the studio. So I don't have to go to a studio. I don't have to wait to meet up with a, hey man, can you meet up so we can do a big fat recording session and I have to now wait a couple of weeks for you to get that. No, none of that has to happen now. I'm here in the studio because I live here. This is my house and this is my desk and I live here and I cook food over there and I sleep over there because I like to have the convenience of making music. If I want to make music a full-time career, which I'm sure you do as well, I need to be able to have control of everything. And that's what we have here and this is a great example. If you're in this position where you've been writing songs for years and you're still purchasing beats or you're waiting on other people or you're going to a studio or you're paying for mixing mastering, cut that shit out and start doing it your fucking self. And if you need help doing that, click below and go watch the free training. It's not like you go click and you go to an opt-in and you have to give me your name, email, none of that. Click below, it's a fucking YouTube video on my channel and it literally shows you the full breakdown of how you're gonna be able to fully produce your own music in 90 days. And I actually show you live client examples from my Rapid Fire Music Academy to show you it as well. So if that's something you're interested in, click the description below, go watch that video, go watch that training. And of course, as always, thanks so much for joining me. See you on the next one. Peace.